Talk about calorie restriction a little bit more. How does that help? I mean, we can see how it helps in, in things like weight loss. And is that the primary advantage to lengthening? Uh, for That's one issue of many. But uh, really, the work's gone on for 70 years. And in all species of animal tested, we see very complex changes in body functions that all operate to promote longevity. So it's not just weight loss per se. You see improvements in cardiovascular function. We have evidence that it reduces uh, cardiovascular disease and pre-diabetes and things called uh, metabolic syndrome X, which is a big issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, of course, uh, it actually helps to restore, in some circumstances, age-related decline in hormones. And it has an effect on uh, cell cycling. So it interferes with what's called apoptosis, or cell death, mm -hmm. that's premature cell death. And so there are a number of things, including the fact that it reduces uh, oxidative stress. And you know, oxidative stress to tissues is really one of the uh, most tenable theories of aging. So it's multiple effects that we perceive um, with calorie restriction in all animals tested, including extensive research recently reported in primates, and more recently evidence that we have this beneficial effect in humans. When you talk about calorie restriction, does that depend on the, the person, the body type, how much you restrict calories, and what, what sort of level do you it, look for? It's hard to define, and that's an excellent question. Um, in essence, you're talking about pretty severe calorie restriction. Uh, there is a calorie restriction society out there where people are actually engaged in quite significant calorie restriction. This raises the other issue. In my book, I talk about calorie restriction mimetics. That means, can you mimic these favorable effects of calorie restriction without restricting the calories? Mm. So if we know, for example, a substance will control cell death, good example being resveratrol, mm -hmm. you know, from uh, red grapes, uh, what we see there is resveratrol is a cell death or apoptosis regulator and forms a substance that is the king or queen of calorie restriction mimetics. So the logical conclusion I've come to is restricting calories in a very severe way to get the beneficial effects is a monumental task for us. Mm -hmm. So the idea of using mimetics, certain compounds which are often natural, some drugs are described as calorie restriction mimetics, plus a toler tolerable level of dietary restriction would be the best way to go. And that, in fact, is the only thing that's known that increases average and maximum lifespan. We know of nothing else in science that would do that except calorie restriction and potentially the use of calorie restriction mimetics. That being said, then, what do we focus on to get our calories from? What kind of diet and are, are supplements important in that aspect? Supplements to me are very important because um, it's a way of maintaining what they call the nutrient density of the diet while you're restricting mm -hmm. calories. And really, uh, the work that I refer to is the work of Roy Walford, a UCLA scientist uh, of great repute, who described the high-low diet. He said, you've got to have calorie restriction that's quite significant without the occurrence of malnutrition. So he meant high nutrient density with low calorie intake. So the maintenance of the presence of vital nutrients in the diet are very important, and that's where I believe dietary supplements play a major role.